Welcome back to the Jenkins Art Studio. Today I've got something special for you. We're going to paint a garden bench, but it's not going to be the normal type of painting that you all are used to. But I'm not going to give it away right now. But first, let's come on over and let's take a look at the palette and all the wonderful color we have down here. We've got, we've got ochres and greens and blues. You gotta load your palette up before you can get any color up on the canvas. Or, well, I said canvas, but today we're not painting on a canvas. Let me tell you what we're working on and how this is all brand new. We're so used to painting on canvas, and here I am telling you canvas when this is matte board. Well, let me show you how this happens. First, because this is all new. We've done some shows, and maybe you've had a chance to see some of them. This all starts with a photograph. Now, this show is for all of you people out there that are photographers and all of you folks that are artists. And what we're going to do is combine photography and painting all together into one nice painting. This is a, a photo Catherine took in Alaska. Several years ago, we were there giving a workshop. Now, what you do is you'll take this and have it enlarged to an 8 by 10. Now, you can take it to your copy store and have them enlarge it. And what you do, you enlarge it, and then you go and go to your art store and have a matte cut. Now, this is an 8 by 10. This is a, a photograph, not a painting. Have your matte cut. Put your photo, your enlargement behind the mat. Now remember, this is about three inches here on the top and the sides, nine or 10 inches way on the bottom. This is so we have plenty of room to mess around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint, take the photograph, different parts of it, and enlarge it and pull it out onto the mat. This is so cool. I tell you, this is unreal. Photography and painting all into one Boy, what a neat package that is. So many people take photographs. They're all right, they take photographs and they have a box. In this box, they have their photos. In this box, they have all their oil paints and brushes. But the two never get together. You might use the photos for reference for your paintings, but today, we're gonna actually use the photo as part of the painting. Now, what does this mean? Well. Catherine and I, when we were in Florida, we, you know, we used to live in Florida, we did a lot of the art shows, and originals can get pretty pricey. Prints, maybe they just don't, the folks that are buying, maybe they don't want to print, but maybe they can't afford an original. This is something in between. It's a part original and part photo, so we find a price that's in between the prints and the originals. Oh boy, now we've opened up a whole new area. Yeah, give it a try. You're gonna make some dollars at this. You will. Now let's, this is so exciting. What do you think? Maybe you could have a picture of your grandchildren in here. Maybe they're in a, in a field of daisies and you would paint the daisies out on the mat. Oh, just wonderful. Well, it goes on and on. Let's come on down to the palette. We've got some green and we've got some sienna and we've got some ochre. And we're gonna take this color and we're gonna come right up here and we're gonna go right on the mat. Maybe I better take a little touch of medium there. Help it spread around a little bit. I wanna get some texture going. Now, this enlargement that I have here, and I'm just, I'll talk to you while I'm painting. This one I did on my computer. So if you, all you folks out there that have a computer, you can scan your photo in. Now mine is done on canvas paper. This is a new, Boy, technology is moving so fast. It's just so wonderful to live now that it's canvas paper. So we can come right in and paint on the photo. So what does this mean? Well, it means we don't have to worry about trying to match this color to the photo. We'll just simply go right in there and paint in here and make it match. Take the same paint here, paint in here. This is a good old fan brush, in case you're wondering what kind of brush I'm using. Now you see, I'm just pat patting. Now you see there's a little white lip there on the mat. So we wanna get in there and cover that, that little white lip so it doesn't give you any lip. <laughs> I know, stupid jokes. Don't joke, paint, and don't joke. I had a letter from a lady one time, she said, 
quit acting like the buffoon. <laughs> Get up there and paint and quit making jokes. Well, I tell you, if you paint, take yourself so serious, you'll never be a painter. You have to have a sense of humor. You have to be able to laugh. You have to let the child out that's in you. I'm picking up some blue and, and yellow and green. You have to let the child out. See, the child wants to play. Okay, here I am into the photo. I'm tap-tapping color into the photo to make it match. The child wants to play. You know why an artist in his studio, if you ever walk into a professional artist's studio and take a look around at what they have around their easel, they have fun things in their studio. Like in my studio, I have my teddy bear from when I was a kid. I have weird looking things on my shelf. I have a doll hanging from the ceiling, a crazy doll that just hangs from the ceiling where I sit. Why is that? Because in your studio where you paint, it's your playground. It's a place where you go to play. And that's why as a child, when a child goes into his room to play, he has all his toys around him, right? An adult, when he comes into his studio to play, he becomes a child. That's why we have our toys, our paints, our brushes, our, our, our mat board, our photos, they're toys. That's all it is. And we come, we come to play. So don't take yourself so serious and have fun. Now here I'm going to take a little yellow, put in there, but let's take a little yellow and blue. And we'll tap that in because I say, oh boy, look at that color. going. Notice how I'm just tapping color. I'm going to go in and tap that same color into my photo because it's very important that the same color that's out here finds its way into the photo. Now here, now here, this is important. Watch this. This is white, yellow. Watch me tap this on here. Now you see that very light color? Uh-huh. I'm going to take that same color. You see it going in? You see it? You see how the eye is led right into, into the bench, right over the top of the bench. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, for you guys that are beginners, what do you think? What do you think? Is this cool? I know. Now you're all getting up, and you're all running into the other room, and you're looking at all your photographs. You say, hey, look at this. I can use, look at my grandchildren. I can use my grandchildren and, and go out and have these mats cut. Look at this. I haven't done anything. I just, I just got up here. <laughs> I just started doing this for you. And, Darn thing looks finished already. Let's take a little white because we have little daisies. Now, we, now we're just going to sort of dot, dot. You see, dot, dot. I'm adding some daisies to the photo. And now I'm going to bounce out onto the mat. And we're going <laughs> to take these flowers out onto the mat. Is that too much? Huh? Are you looking through that box of photos at home? Did you find one? Oh, there's one of the grandchildren. Yeah, let's use that one. Go to the store and get a mat cut. Come on home, grab those paints, and let's have fun. Look at that. Look at the wonderful reds. Let's get some reds down there, and let's get some oranges down there. A lot of folks say, oh boy, where do you go to take all your photos? I know you end up with so many neat photos. Where do you take them? Well, Catherine and I, we go to different gardens. We live in Ashland, but we go to different gardens around the country. Uh, mainly, what we are, right now we're going to gardens mainly in our area. Whoa, who's that blonde there? And there I am. There's my cowboy hat. I've been looking all over for it. I think Catherine must have hidden it on me. Whoa, looks like we found something there. <laughs> Don't pick the flowers. They'll kick you out of the garden. We went to a lot of B&Bs and asked them if we could go to their gardens uh, and photograph the flowers and things and they should they, they gave us permission so uh, we live in Ashland where we have so many neat neat things to do let's take some of that red maybe on some of the uh, next series we'll be able to visit some other interesting places for you and we'll uh, be able to bring that to you too and also you can be sure we're going to be showing you more of these garden these garden scenes. This is an excellent idea for us to travel around the country, or at least in a states close to us, 
and show you different gardens around the country and how they would look painted out. Oh, cool idea. Yes. Yes. Let's get a little in here and a little in there. Notice how we just brought it out. We're going to come up here. Now I can see it gets a little darker back there. Let's take our green and a little touch of black, a little red, because it's a little darker. We want to bring that little mysterious edge out. Now some of these pictures I will bring out uh, way up on the top and on the sides, but I'm not so sure I want to bring this one up. Don't forget to paint inside the picture because it'll look weird if this outside edge doesn't match. So you bring that color in. Don't forget, have these enlarged at your, at your enlarging, uh, what do you call those? Copy stores. And they, that, there's copy stores all over the place. Uh, and they have all these wonderful, here's a little yellow orange going, wonderful machines that will copy all this, uh, these images for you. And they don't cost that much. Now I'm going to clean the brush off. Oh, before we run out of time, I want to show you some other examples of what can be done. Now this, uh, Catherine is the photographer in the family. <laughs> And here, here's, now this is another photograph of, look at that. Those roses are real, that's a real photo of two roses. And then Catherine went in around it and painted in some leaves and things. Is that too much? Give me a break, look at that. I wanna show you some others. Now this you might recognize from our last series. This is a gazebo with some daisies and wildflowers jumping around. And this is another way of going. Is that cool? Huh? To the top. Yes, the tree's coming out on the top. Now, each time you do this, if you wanted to do this painting over again, it would never turn out the same. Each one is different. I gotta show you these, because this is super important for you guys to see. Here's another one. This is a little flower fairy. Look at the flower fairy up there. Yes. Flower fairies only come out at night. You can't see them, but they're there. And we got one other. Sometimes the flower fairies look like butterflies. They disguise themselves. <laughs> Blue and gold macaw. I showed this on some of my other shows, but in case you didn't have a chance, look at the black mat. Those flowers are painted. That is a print of one of my paintings. That's not a photograph of a, a blue and gold. Uh, that is a a photograph of one of my paintings, which is a print. And, whoa, and nothing. I just showed you all. <laughs> so that shows you what you can do. Oh, and on a show, it might have come up already, or maybe it's down the line. I'm going to be painting some vases for you. Now look at this. It has a gold leaf top, roses on the bottom. Is that something else? It's all, it's black. One I'm going to be doing for you will be white, but look at that. Is that, is that classy? <laughs> and don't forget out there to refer, when you call us, to refer to the show number on the end uh, of the show so that we'll know which show you're uh, referring to. Okay. Oh, I got another one. I, I got to show you this. I got to show you this. I got so much to show you in so little time. This is a mural that's in our cottage. So, uh, of course, you could see the furniture in front, but maybe, if, can we get in there a little closer? And I want you to see, can you see that wall? <laughs> see the gazebo way up there? Catherine painted the gazebo. And this, this is a really long wall. Boy, it took us about two or three weeks to paint it, and this is in our little guest cottage. Well, shoot, there's, there's all kinds of stuff to do. How we do it up here with our little photo? We're gonna come up and clean our brush. Now up front we're going to show a little more detail. We're going to take our white and don't forget if you want to email me the uh, my web address will be on the end of the show. Okay let's come up here and paint in some daisies. Very close and another one here. Okay. Another daisy in there. 
I just heard the phone ring. I wonder if that was somebody calling to ask me a question about what I'm doing. <laughs> you see, I haven't even finished the show, and the phones are ringing already. That's great. <laughs> Let's get a little more detail in here. Yes. Now, this is probably be better for you to wait until this dries. But we can get this detail in there. And it's because this is up closer to us. And another one in here. And Catherine and I really want to, to thank all of you folks for your support over the years. Because without you, we wouldn't be here. And also, when you're local PBS station has their pledge drive. And they ask you for money. Send money. Because without your support, I won't be on and other shows won't be on because we need your support. So don't, just when they ask for money, pick up the phone and say, yes, we want to belong. Look at those daisies in there. Let's get another one up here. Now you can put in as much detail or as little. I'm going to pick up some orange and yellow. Right in here, we want a little more. See, sometimes you can use a dot, 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 dot. Come on down, dot, dot. A little up in here. So this is our playground down here. Let's see. Let's look at the whole thing. I want to see the whole thing and how we're we looking. Now, we have a lot of space on the bottom. So we want to make sure we don't, boy, that's looking good. <laughs> I want to come on down and let's take a little green, a little touch of medium, sienna. And we're going to come way down here. And I'm going to get some more of this action going down on the bottom. This could be anything. In a minute, we're going to take a liner brush. And we're going to come in here and show some grass. Let's take a look at what the liner brush is. That's the brush with the long, skinny hair on it. See it? Uh -huh. Use this brush very wet. We'll come on over. Very, very wet. And pick up some sap green, a little sienna. And we'll come up here and just put in some grasses. Yes. But you have to use this brush super wet. Otherwise, it won't show up. Yes. All right, now you're not going to get too many grasses in, just a few. Otherwise, we'll have to grass the whole thing up. But I still want a few more in there, right in this area. And don't put your, don't put your grass in straight. The grass is curved slightly. Yeah, maybe another little bit over in this area. Uh-huh. Then, on top of those little grasses, that gives us a chance. I'm going to clean my little round brush off. And it gives me a chance to pick up a little white. And when I, I roll the brush to get a nice point to it, roll the brush. And come on up here. I'm going to come up to this clump. And I'm going to put in some daisies that are a little bit larger. A little bit larger. You see it? Yes. And another one over here, a little bit higher maybe. You push down and pull up. See that daisy going in? You think you can do that? I think so. Do you have to go to art school for years and years and years to study to do this? No. Is this a cool painting? Is this something you want to spend your time with? And, and it's not just a little Mickey Mouse painting, but it's something that you could, you could be proud to do. You see, this is something you would see fine hanging in a, in a fine art gallery. And you can do it. So we're not doing little what we call projects. <laughs> we're doing stuff that you could be proud to give as presents. Or if you're in the selling arena, you might want to mat these up and sell them. Because I know there's many places where Catherine and I teach and this would be a great, great, something really great to teach. Maybe Catherine and I should consider doing some of this. I think we might. You guys write me and let me know if you'd like workshops in this.
I think it's cool. Now we have these up here, but we have to take the eye and pull it back. You don't want just a clump here, a blank spot, and then a clump. So I'm clumping in here. Clump, clump. So the eye will come back. We always say, so the, so the eye. What does that mean? We're just taking one eye back here? <laughs> Shouldn't it be, so the eyes will come back? Not the eye. Okay, you can come back, but just take one eye. Leave the other one home. <laughs> A little more dot, dot back here. Fill it in more. Fill it in more. Okay. Now, let's take a look at it. We're going to come up here and take a little more of this red. I like that red. That's a neat color. Pull that out. This series that Catherine and I are doing is really exciting. We not only got into this matte painting, but we got into, of course, poppy painting, rose painting, and we got Catherine did a, a couple shows where she did a couple technique shows for you, showing you lots of leaves and buds and things. Look at that. Look at the grouping over here. Yes. And if you have any questions or comments on today's show, please refer to the show number at the end of the show. Of course, if you just said bench painting, I think we'd know which one, but try to refer to that. Look at that. A little more over here. Are you looking for, through your photos? <laughs> a little more yellow and white. A little in here. Now, let me tell you about the, I don't know if I told you the size I'm using. This is very important. This is a 16 by 20 size. This is just a simple little frame, little wooden frame, but it has curved corners, which sort of adds a nice, elegant look to the painting. A 16 by 20, and then this is an 8 by 10 opening. Now, if, when you have your mats uh, cut, make sure you have them cut to a standard size, like a 16 by 20, or an 18 by 24, or 20 by 24. Ask your framer. This way, if you just say, cut me a mat, and it comes out like 16 and a half by 20 and a half, you're going to pay five times as much for a frame. So keeping it a standard size will enable you to go out on the floor of any framing place and pick a frame out that's, that's inexpensive. A lot of your photo frames are wonderful. You just take out the stuff that's in it and, and use the frame. And they even come with glass, because these should be framed under glass or plexiglass. So Save yourself some money and get a, get a standard size. All right. Well, let's take, oh, and Catherine, a lot of, and again, let me show you some other stuff here. Because Catherine, because our painting is just about done, and I want to show you some other things. Catherine and I, of course, we have our garden, and I wanted to show you some photographs. Well, here's another one. I want to show you this. Catherine showed this on one of her shows. I'm going to show it to you because a lot of times you guys miss the shows. See, there's a photo of two roses. And Catherine took and painted, had this blown up to an 8 by 10. She had it matted and painted around it. And it turned out wonderful. And she did that on one of the shows. I hope you guys had a chance to see that. Here's another one. Look at this one for dewdrops. This was taken in our backyard, guys, when we have macro lenses and we spend a lot of time doing photography, as I know a lot of you do. I know a lot of our students out there send us photographs. Actually, we uh, used one of the photos that were sent, was sent to us from one of our students. Well, there you are. I hope you guys want to give this a shot. This is exciting. I love these matte paintings. And the fact that you already have photos at home of the grandchildren and of, of farmhouses and landscapes and whatever, give it a shot. Thanks for watching out there. And don't forget, take a stroll in the woods and let's sit on the bench and think about things. God be with you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.